Okay, here is my version 2.0 of my USB uh, solar powered um, device gadget charger for my iPhone and uh, I've used it on my Google Nexus 7 and on my iPod Touch. Um, saw my other one that I made, well maybe didn't, but I made another one out of just a regular tin that wasn't an Altoids tin and then it was pretty mangled and underpowered but it worked it would bring my uh, iPhone from say I think I went from 26 percent to 75 or no maybe 80 something percent but this one charged it from um, 20 percent to 100 percent and then I hooked it up to my iPod touch that was shut off because it was it ran out of battery and this charged it all the way up to 100% and then still had more left over. And here's the, the guts. I took out the stuff that I got from Brown Dog Gadgets, my um, charging USB charge circuit and the, uh, um, the plug here, 2.5 millimeter plug. I put them in this tin and uh, got some 2500 milliamp batteries. I bought these from Radio Shack. I, I would have bought from Brown Dog Gadgets some more batteries, but uh, um, I'm more of an impulse purchase kind of, kind of person. So uh, when I usually when I buy something, it's it's on the spot. So and if I have to order so now this this sort of stuff, you can't just buy from Radio Shack. And if you do, I don't know if I would even trust it. I mean, they don't really have a lot of information about what they're selling and usually the people there don't really know what they're doing so you have to know what you're doing when you buy something from there so luckily when I I was able to talk to the guy from Brown Dog Gadgets before I bought stuff from there so that's why I did all that. But this one this one's got a lot of power. It's 5,000 5,000 milliamps of power and uh, the other one was uh, I think 3,000, 3,200 3, milliamps, but um, it worked just fine. Um, I didn't use it very much, but uh, now I put together a, uh, a solar panel to uh, charge this up. And let's see if I can back up enough here to see this. This is a CD case, and I just took a 6 volt, um, 3. It's a six volt, uh, 167 milliamp, uh, and one volt, one uh, watt. And these ones are six volt, 84 milliamps each. So all together, I think it's uh, 335, 335 milliamps. So that's pretty good. And that will charge. Just throw this in the window, hanging up by the thing. I got a hook in the window. And a suction cup and plug that into here. Plug this in. And uh, just let it sit in the sun and it charges up. And uh, so that's free. And if I was ever out in the woods or lost somewhere and I just happen to have this, which I am going to... My next step is going to be to put everything in this tin because this, this uh, solar panel here this one fits in here perfect and two of them will fit in there perfect and then you just get down here you just uh, so there'll be what I'm gonna have is the batteries underneath here running underneath here then I have a solar panel on top and then the the uh, USB circuit and the other thing over here and then I'm going to have lithium ion batteries this time. Um, Brown Dog, he has these uh, 2000 milliamp. I'm going to get two of those and a charge circuit for the lithium ion and then uh, another uh, USB circuit. So this will stay intact. I'll still have this, but I'm going to make a whole new one with this panel plus another one. So I'll have two panels. It'll all be in here so I can carry it around. And then when I need it, pop it open, throw it in the sun to charge and then I'll just have it and that will I think those lithium ion batteries can hold a charge 
and just sit there for up to a year before you need to even use it so it can just sit there charged when I use it and when it runs out just open it up let it charge up again check the and uh, uh, the cool thing about that is the uh, lithium-ion charge controller has a light that tells you when it's charged when the batteries are completely charged which that's what I'm really going for is this one I have to measure the voltage in the cells to make sure they're right about uh, 1.4 I think is where I stop it and uh, it's hard to uh, you can't just throw stuff together charge it for three days and hope that that's enough or hope that's you know not not too much because uh, it can get dangerous or it can just ruin your batteries especially with lithium ion if you don't have the right stuff and you just try and hook a lithium ion battery to something then it starts pulling a lot of voltage off that battery more than 4.2 then or even less than 4.2 it can explode so yeah, don't mess with lithium ion unless you uh, know what you're doing unless you've at least read up a lot which I've done and these these are uh, nickel metal hydride it's uh, N N I M H they uh, what is this saying? anyway they they're pretty easy to work with and you know there's not much of a learning curve with them you can you know throw 10% of the milliamps this, that's what uh, Brown Dog Gadgets guy told me 10% of the milliamp that's that you're outputting which these are in a series so two in a series adds up to um, just the 2500 milliamps but when you put two of them together these two in a series these two in a series and then wire them as parallel that will double your um, milliamps so that's how you get 5,000 out of this um, and uh, so that's that's the more milliamps the more long the longer the battery is gonna last so anyway um, yeah I'll be I'll show this one when I get it when I get it all set up that one's gonna be really awesome and then uh, this one I'm gonna set up a different solar cell I think I'm gonna gr grab that uh, 5.5 volt 320 milliamp that uh, brown dog sells that's his best one I think I'm gonna get that it's only 18 something which is a great deal I've looked all over the place um, so anyway, thanks for watching, uh, rate and uh, ask any questions or give any comments or anything anybody wants to talk about on it, um, please do. Uh, thank you for watching.